how to speech live and how to configure it in speech exec pro first of all please open your browser and go to speechlive.com on our home page click on try for free to create a trial account for one month select the advanced business package and click on try for free again now fill in all the required information down below. In my case I have already done that. After the registration is finished, please check your emails. You should receive an email from SpeechLive with the confirmation that your SpeechLive account has been activated. Clicking on the link will bring you to the login page of SpeechLive. The administrator of the account is by default the first author and it will be activated. No additional activation is required. Now click on Workflow. And you will see your activated author account. To add a transcriptionist, click on the Invite New User icon. Enter the email address, the name, choose transcriptionist as the user role and select your preferred options for the notification. Now please click on add and invite. You can already see the profile of your new transcriptionist, but it is not activated yet. To activate the account, your transcriptionist has to check his or her emails and click on the invitation link. After that, the registration of the transcriptionist is finished. After having activated that transcriptionist's account, here you can see the status is activated. Now open Speech Exec Dictate. Make sure you are logged in with your Speech Live Author account. For the next step, I am going to make a new recording and I am going to store the dictation in the Speech Live folder. One, two, Free test, finish, finish dictation, and now that it is finished, it is being sent at speech exec transcribe so that the transcriptionist can work with it. Therefore, I can cl now close speech exec dictate and start speech exec pro transcribe. In a real use case, Speech Exec Dictate and Transcribe are installed separately on different laptops or PCs. As before, the transcriptionist has to be logged in with his Speech Live account. If that's done, the dictation will pop up in the folder To Do. If you selected the advanced business package, you will now have to create a workflow relationship between the author and the transcriptionist, since it is not set by default. Simply go to Workflow, select Workflow Relationships and create the relationship. Now open Speech Exec Dictate. Make sure you are logged in with your Speech Live Author account. For the next step, I am going to make a new recording. 
and I'm going to store my new dictation file in speech life folder. One, two, three, test, finish, finish dictation. And now that it is finished, it is being sent at speech exec transcribe so that the transcriptionist can work with it. Therefore, I'm now close speech exec dictate in order to launch speech exec transcribe. In a real use case, speech exec dictate and transcribe are installed separately on different laptops or PCs. As before, the transcriptionist has to be logged in with his SpeechLive account. If that's done, the dictation will pop up in the folder to do and it can be transcribed. Finish, finish transcription. After the transcription, the Word document with the transcribed text can be attached to the dictation file. Simply click on the dictation, click on attach document. and attach your document. This icon shows that the document is attached. If I now go to my emails, you can see that I received a notification on my office email address that the dictation has been transcribed. Also, if I log in to my SpeechLive author or transcriptionist account, The dictation with my attached doc transcription is there. Simply click on the dictation file, click on the cloud icon on the upper left side and select download attachment. And there you can see the transcribed dictation.